The main thing here is that you have an automatic transmission, and you're required to have an automatic transmission if you are a person with one arm or one hand. And I think the difference when you're driving with one hand is that, especially on a long distance drive, you'll find that you're resting your hand on the top of the wheel, in the center of the wheel, because that's uh, just more restful. You, you don't drive along for hours and hours with your hand on the side of the wheel. And so um, this works. The other thing is that you need to tick. And when you want to turn on your turn signal, inevitably it's usually on the left side of the wheel. So you're reaching through the wheel to turn on that signal. And what I've noticed is that nearly always when I'm reaching for the radio or when I have to reach for the turn signal, instinctively I bring up my left knee. And with my knee I can steady the wheel and I never feel like I've had to take my hand off the wheel and, um, and that I need to be uneasy for that. I haven't found that it works to use one of those knobs that people put on steering wheels sometimes. I think those were useful before people had power steering. So the power steering that you have is, um, works just fine with one hand. If I need to turn on lights while I'm driving, again, my knee is right against this wheel and I reach around and get the light switch. Obviously this was not designed for a person with one arm and there's nothing you can do about it, and there's nothing really that you need to do about it. It works just fine. Often when I'm going to signal, I reach through like this and move the signal with my fingers when my hand is still on the wheel. Sometimes your passengers will not understand that you've got this instinctive knee against the wheel and if you're gesturing or turning on the radio or scratching your nose, they might be a little worried because they don't understand that. But in fact, uh, I feel very steady with my uh, knee there. And I know that if I need to start to make a turn with my knee, in a split second I can bring my hand up to the wheel. So you usually keep your hand on the wheel all the time, but inevitably there are a few moments that uh, you need to have it off, especially when you need to turn the signal or turn on your lights and um, or turn on the windshield wiper. And so I'm, I'm often reaching through to do it. And you can also go around the wheel like that while you're driving. So um, otherwise, there's really nothing to it. Um, what I notice is that when I'm adjusting the steering wheel, it doesn't feel right unless it's right about at the level where my knee touches it. Um, so when I'm going along and I want to t use a turn signal or turn on the lights or the windshield wipers, um, I, I instinctively bring my knee up and hold that against the wheel while I'm doing this. It's just for a split second. But it feels good and secure to be able to do that. And so you'll find that you want to probably adjust your seat and adjust your steering you wheel for that. Again, just mm -hmm. with the knee. You don't need to narrate. Yeah.